What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcast for the next episode of The Descendant, Episode 1. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. And I guess I'm just going to inspect objects. That's not what goes inside of a filing cabinet. Basketballs don't go in there. There's apparently a table full of pipe bombs over here. Let's get our jam session on. We're going to be a futuristic rock star. Guitar mode 10. What do we have here? Who's it signed by? Silas mentioned this place was still being updated by a construction team. I hope they got enough finished before... The bombs hit? Stopping in the middle of sentences like that is really sort of inconvenient. You should avoid doing that. At least people in suspense. You gotta finish your thought. Is this? Yes! Just like the one I have... I had at home. Rocking that hex game. Wonder if there's anything to watch. Maybe later. I would say it's incredibly doubtful, and anything you do find is more than likely just going to be some kind of broadcast loop meant to keep people in the know. Well, at least there's something to do during downtime. A book on harvesting, just in case you find harvest to be fascinating beyond all other subjects. I guess one of these is mine. Better make sure Silas doesn't have all the keys. What else is going on in here? We got stuff on the table. I like to look at everything when I play games like this. Considering he's been by himself till I got here, I would have thought this place would be a bit more tidy. Mostly just drinking and playing solitaire. Passing time in that old 1950s style when you're all alone. Solitaire is a depressing game though. I don't like playing solitaire. I've never found it to be entertaining. I guess the menu is going to be pretty basic for a while. I thought I said energy ration for a second. It says emergency ration. The whole thing. It's just generic energy ration now from Generacore. That's the bathroom? Let's go check out the bathroom. When I play point and click stuff, I like to look at everything and just make sure I have a pretty good understanding of like what's all around me. Because I hate being in that situation. Like sometimes when you play point and click games, you end up in a spot where you're missing like that one item you need and you're not even sure where to look for it because you kind of like breeze through a previous section. And so I try anyways. At least it was nearby. Gotta use that. I mean, you didn't even make it. You just threw up right outside your little stolly thing. That one looks like it's occupado. I don't know. That looks like a, maybe a shower tube or something. Is there anything useful over here? Lots of med kits. So, you know, have any accidents, stub our toes, bruise our craniums or anything like that. We should have it in toilet paper. Huh? The world hasn't quite ended that badly. If we can still wipe our ass. Remember when everyone thought the headlines were just scaremongering. Supposedly there's some journalistic rule where anytime they put a question in like a journalistic endeavor like a newspaper or a magazine or whatever It can always be answered with no Like apparently journalists only ask questions when the answer is no in their titles I'm not really sure clickbait being what it is nowadays hard to tell the legitimate journalists from all the clickbait ones anyways the buzz feeds from the actual locations disseminating real information I'm assuming we're going this way he said out in the hallway and then it was down on our right. That went to a bathroom and I don't know what the door behind us goes to. Unless that's not our door. Oh, I guess it's not. Can I run or anything? Like, can I double click to make her like double time it? It doesn't look like I can. Oh, no, don't do that. I think this is our door over here. Yep, it's all shiny, see? It got all polished when we came by it, new. Why is everything so rusty when it's all like new? Like, isn't this place supposed to be under construction? Like, why is there so much rust and nasty? Let's get that WD-40 out. Let's see, you've got a door with a thing. He said on the right, though. Oh, this is where we were with, uh, what's his name? I don't know his name, because I didn't memorize it, because I'm a bad human being like that, and I don't excel at social situations, but... This is all looking pretty familiar. Water heating rooms over here. Looks like we some got, I guess, a storage cage or something over on that side. I don't know if I should take like a better look around just to make sure that's the door we came through when the bombs went off. Lots of medkits. I'm wondering if the medkits are going to be interactable later on. Like we're going to worry about our character's health, or there's going to be some kind of like vague survival mechanic going on. What the hell? What? Oh shit! Mia, something's gone wrong. That water heating error just moved to critical. What does that mean? That means it must be affecting some of the descendants now. You have to hurry. <laughs> he 
pop that door yeah, open, G. This is bad. One bank of descendants. I'm getting unknown error messages. I feel like it's going to be a bad day to be a descendant. You really don't want to put me like under the wire like that. Maybe we go this way. Thought I heard zombie noises for a second. I was starting to get a little bit scared. Starting to get a little bit worried that bad things were going to happen. Can't go inside that door. Looks like maybe... Not that one either. Got a call button on this side. Ah, oh, shit. So we've got the basement, we've got the water heating room, which is going to be B1, I guess. Oh, the panel's busted? That's not what I wanted. Nope. Unplug you. Take you. Go over to here. Oh, I got it now. I got it now. Take you to there. That white wire isn't looking so bueno, though. Neither is the black wire. Okay. Ah, there's a little switchy thing right there. Gotcha. Mia, what just happened? Some part of the system just went offline for a while. Damn it. That can't be a good thing. I am obliged to agree with you. So if B1's where we need to be at... I'm feeling the stress right now. I kind of don't want to murder people on my first day on the job. I mean, technically I have three years of experience, but... Oh, things are shooting steam. That's never a the good sign. The problem song. in the water heating room must be bad. It's definitely getting hotter in here. Hot steam is blocking the way. Yeah, I figured it might try to do that to me. Okay, so with the hot steam, the pipe goes back. Ah, valves. Perfect. There's a valve missing. Oh, shit. Uh, where do you figure we find a busted valve at? I don't see any valve heads around here anywhere. What is that? That won't work as a valve. Well, I tried. It was the same shape, right? I gave it my all. Oh. Okay, valve has been acquired. Praise be to Gaben. Let us continue with our journey. Praise be unto him who gives us games on the cheapy cheap. The pressure in the pipes is too high. So that one... goes to there. That looks like it alleviated something. This one, on the other hand, goes to blue. Which means that one goes to green. Looks like there's supposed to be a specific order. I think it's the numbers that it's got them labeled with, like one, two, three. Steam leak has been fixed, okay. Cool. So now that that's done, let's hurry off down the hallway because I'm really pretty sure somebody's going to die if I don't do this like in an appropriate amount of time. I may have looked at the achievements and the achievements were like, you can totally be a screw up. It seemed like you could kill people with negligence if you really wanted to. Got her neck all craned. Yeah. 
I don't know yeah. her name. I'm getting more and more error messages from that bank of cry tanks. Please work faster. Guess that's it. Oh, I need to check that faulty pipe. Which faulty pipe? That faulty pipe? Which one is the faultiest of the pipes? Nah, that looks wrong. Nah, that looks wrong. Nah, that looks wrong. Nah, that looks wrong. What's going on right now? Some indication of what I'm supposed to be doing would be fantastic. I guess we're pulling the pipes, I guess. There. Just gotta replace this seal. The pipe itself looks okay. So there are more pipes laying around here somewhere? Big old pile of pipes, huh? Nothing but tools. Gotta find a seal. Okay, so I need a sealant of some kind. We got a plastics crate over here. Lots of odds and ends, but no seal. Okay. Art, art, and all that. Where else there might be? Like right here? you think we would sort- No seal here. No seals there either. Yeah, there definitely needs to be a button that you can push that like... Let's you see where all the interactables are or something. If they're going to put you on a time crunch anyways. No, no seal in here. Okay, there's nothing right there. Another crate over here. Just paint a plastic. Ah, oh, I didn't see that one. Hey! This looks like it should fit the machine. You think we would... Like, actually have this stuff labeled and put where it's supposed to go. Ah! Fuck. How do I get down there? Are you for real right now? Mia, you are killing Shit, me with your ineptitude. it's getting too hot in here. Gotta fix whatever's gone wrong fast. Here, let's turn the valve then. We can fix this. I know we can. Okay, that's done something. Looks like the pipes are no longer on fire to me. I think we're good. But we'll continue. There's the seal that we dropped. Man, that was tiny on the floor. All that, because you're bad at gripping things. You're like Sandra Bullock. The entire movie, Gravity, was just her being unable to grip things. That was that entire thing. Somebody get that girl some stick'em. I swear to God. The entire film is just her trying to grab things. Alright, so the ladder's got us back up. We'll run over to here, see if we can mess with this thing. Place that filter. Just gotta put these pipes back how they were. Alright. Nah, that looks wrong. Oh, I forgot about the order, huh? Nah. Pipe first. Oh, shit balls. I wasn't paying attention. Mia, what's taking so long? 
Now some of the cry tanks are going offline. Hurry up! I'm going as fast as I can. It's turning into a goddamn furnace down here. Hmm. Nah, that looks wrong. Wasn't paying attention to the order when we did this. So that pipe. No, need to remove that other pipe first. So that one got to go in first. Huh. Nothing to it. And then we gotta hit the button, right? Looks like we're back in action. So how bad's the damage? How many people did I murder? Through my inability to pay attention to pipes. I took them off like in any order that I wanted to, so... Hey, Silas. You read me? I got the job done. You did it? That's great. I cannot stress how important it is that we keep everything running smoothly. I'll, uh, I'll see you back at our quarters. Maybe our like little wake-up system should be a little bit more effective at getting us up earlier. This whole like two minutes to midnight thing. It's not working for me. I get that instrumentation. Give me like 45 minutes beforehand. Have that thing open up with like the slightest inclination. Rather than when I've got like eight seconds left to fix something. Before everybody dies explosively and horribly. Before they put my face on the front of the news or something. Hello? Ah! Oh, God damn it! You mind warning me before you shout? <laughs> Sorry, Senator. What are you seeing? There's two cryo tanks. Both look like they're in good working order. Why wouldn't they be? We'd be amazed at how much can go wrong with those things. Fair enough. You sure they're okay? Let's go have a look. These aren't the make and model I'm used to, but as far as I can tell, it looks like both tanks are operational and occupied. That's a relief. I'll see if I can start the wake-up protocols for these two, so we can be on our way. Crap. Randolph, you got the intel file there? Ha! I guess it is a good job I got benched. It's right here. What do you need? Override codes for the cryo tanks. Model number is... GC-003. GC-003. Okay, give me a sec. Override code is... 84886762. I repeat, 84886762. These cryo tanks aren't getting enough power to start the wake-up protocols. Can't you just bang on the tanks? Wake them up that way? You get how cryogenic stasis works, right? Let's just say it's a bit more complicated than that. This has to be done slowly and carefully. It's okay. Should just be a case of figuring out why they're not getting all the power they need. I wonder if that's still... Nah. Better safe than sorry. It's gonna do that thing that chocolate does where it turns all crispy and white and shit after you leave it in the cupboard for too long. Starts looking like solidified bird dookie. Guess someone lost their key. Someone's tried to force this open. We still got a crowbar. I'm just saying, if you're down for some burglary, we can make it happen. We can burglarize, like, right now. Oh, uh, cool. Wish I had one of these in my arc. Before I can get the security camera feeds, I'll need the janitors to power up the arc. Okay. Well, what's this way then? Looks like it needs a card key anyway, so I don't think we're going in that way. Looks like somebody's been counting days on the wall. That or their wake-up attempts or something like that, like how many times they've been back up to fix things. Looks like this was pulled down. Good job at Mr. Cryotank. So we ain't going through there right now.
Ooh, fuse box. Yes, please. That sounds good. I didn't even think about a fuse box. Huh. It's got like an ancient 1400s lock on it. Hit that thing with a flashlight. I bet it come right off. Just bap. Nail that thing. Locks are actually pretty fragile. There's a book right there. Nothing useful in the cabinet drawer, unfortunately. I was hoping for treasures, shotguns, ammunition, anything to help me survive the apocalypse. Can you not look at the book unless you have like this angle right here? Oh, I just missed it. <laughs> we had the same book in my arc. Must have read it 50 times. So I guess that's not entirely helpful right now. I wonder... So to get into the fuse box, we need something to break into. Oh, it's a hammer drill. Its battery is missing. Man, what else could go wrong around here? Every time we start to make some progress, I hit a brick wall. So we're looking for a hammer drill battery. Wherever the hell that might be at. And the things don't really... There it is right there. They don't light up until you've seen the prerequisite object. And so you gotta see like the first object, then you gotta see like the next object. So we got the battery pack for the hammer drill. There's no telling if it's charged though. We got a flashlight right here. Can I only grab it from this screen on this side? Huh. Looks like I can't pick up the flashlight now, weirdly enough. I wonder if there's multiple ways to get past like a certain obstacle and depending on the one that you do it's kind of like Resident Evil 2 where you like leave objects behind between Claire and Claire and Leon the stuff you leave behind helps the other person when they play through. I never left anything behind. I took everything on Leon and then I was like, "Ah, whatever, it'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen?" Let's go pick up the hammer drill. Let's make some progress before we go any further. Hammer drill. I got you a battery. Please love me, hammer drill. All right, so now we have a hammer drill. What do you figure a hammer drill does? I would assume it both hammers and drills. Does it help with locks? There you go. Looks like we got a busted fuse right there. That one doesn't really look like it's lighting up. So that's wrong. That's right. Or do you need all the lights on, I wonder? I bet you need all the lights on. There. Okay. These cryo tanks should have full power now. The red threw me off because red usually means bad. And so it made me nervous. Can I break open this locker now that I got the drill thing? Guess someone lost their key. Someone's tried to force this open. Yeah, drill that thing, man. Let's get treasure. Let's find their underground gold. Yeah, it looks like you can actually use multiple ways to get past like a similar object or something because I can't pick up the flashlight now. It said I could pick it up before and I just went after the battery pack first because it seemed more pertinent in the moment. I've got the wake up protocol started. These janitors should be awake within 40 minutes. As long as that? That's the thing. That's a lot faster than I'd expect. I hope it's just a difference between these models and the ones I'm used to. So long as it does the job. I'm coming to you. I want to be there when they wake up. And personally thank them for fulfilling their duties. Hold that thought. We need to update HQ. 
You head topside with the long range radio. I'll see if I can check on the descendants. Fine. There must be something in the computer's maintenance logs that says what went wrong here. Well, let's go have a look. Actually, we'll do that in a minute. We're out of time for today. I'm worried it's going to start like another action sequence or something. My name is Splattercat. This is The Descendant, Episode 1. I will see you all in the next episode. So far, a little bit rough. Voice acting's a little bit iffy, and there are occasional things that have hiccups and feel a little bit odd. I'm not totally sold on it just yet. However, this is Episode number 2 of The Descendant, Episode number 1. And so there's lots of episodic things happening. I will see you all in the next episode. Hi, everybody.